God gave Jesus a revelation to show his servants things which must come to pass. In the revelation we see a scroll, written on the inside and on the outside, sealed with seven seals. As each of the first four seals are opened we see a horseman. What is the scroll? Who or what are the horsemen? How will we discern what or who they are? How will we know we have discerned correctly? Many others have attempted to identify the scroll and horsemen. This book will not attempt to refute each and every identification they have made, nor discuss every possible identification. The approach is to show that the evidence fits a single scroll and a single set of horsemen. If this approach is successful, then it will effectively rule out all other scrolls and horsemen. This book will not attempt to discuss the first horseman's bow and the green color of the fourth horseman, as there is too little information available to discern them. The scroll will be identified first using the evidence regarding the scroll. Then each horseman will be identified using the evidence regarding each horseman. The question about discerning correctly will be answered by showing how the horsemen fit together. How the horsemen fit the scroll. How the scroll and horsemen fit the book of Revelation and show us things to come. How will we discern what or who they are? What process do we use? What path do we take? Hear what the Spirit says. Jesus says something to each of the seven assemblies that helps us with a key part of the answers. His sevenfold repetition emphasizes how important it is for us to do this. Hear what the Spirit says. Revelation chapter 2 verses 7, 11, 17, and 29, and chapter 3 verses 6, 13, and 22. When we remember that Jesus asked the Father to send the Spirit to guide us into all the truth and show us things to come, we begin to see how wise His instruction is. The Spirit of truth guides us into all the truth and shows us things to come. A key part of the process to discern the truth of the scroll and horseman is to hear what He says. How do we do this? How do we hear God? God speaks to us through dreams, visions, and thoughts that He brings to our minds. He also guides our reasoning and remembering. Satan speaks to us the same way. This is all added to our own thoughts, those that come from our hearts, from our remembering, and from our reasoning. In order to hear God we must hear the thoughts He brings, and we must discern that they are from Him. God tells us how to do this. One simple way is to test the Spirit bringing the thought by asking it to confess that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh, and that Jesus is Lord. Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God, for many false prophets have gone out into the world. By this you know the Spirit of God, every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God, and every spirit that does not confess Jesus is not from God. 1 John chapter 4 verses 1 to 3. No one can say Jesus is Lord except in the Holy Spirit. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 3. In addition to asking the Spirit to confess, it is important to ask the Spirit to give us confirming Scripture. What the Spirit of God says must agree with Scripture. There are more things that we can do to discern and hear better, and to have God speak to us more frequently. These things are discussed in Appendix A, Hearing and Discerning the Spirit of God. We must be His servants. God's purpose for the revelation is to show His servants things which must come to pass. If we are to see what He is revealing, then we must be His servants. We must align our lives and conform our beings, our desires, beliefs, thoughts, words, and actions, to His will. God's purpose is also to glorify His Son, the Lord Jesus. To make Jesus known to us. To show us how much Jesus loves us. To reveal His ways to us. Jesus' purpose is to glorify the Father. To make the Father known to us to show us how much the Father loves us, to reveal the Father's ways to us, so that we may seek and follow the guiding of the Holy Spirit, believe and help others believe, glorify the Father and His Son Jesus, and help others glorify them, come to know the Father and His Son Jesus better, and make them known, see how much the Father and His Son Jesus love us, and help others see how much the Father and His Son Jesus love them. Prepare for things to come and help others prepare. Learn the Father's ways and become like Him. 
we must hunger and thirst for truth, ask, seek, and follow. I say to you, ask and it will be given to you, seek and you will find, knock and it will be opened to you. For everyone asking receives, and the one seeking finds, and to the one knocking it will be opened. Luke chapter 11 verses 9 and 10. The book of Proverbs is written to help us hear and understand obscure expressions. Someone who is already wise will hear and learn still more, someone who already understands will gain the ability to counsel well, he will understand Proverbs, obscure expressions, the sayings and riddles of the wise. Proverbs chapter 1 verses 5 to 6. We must not rely on our own understanding. Trust in God with all your heart, do not rely on your own understanding. In all your ways ask Him and He will guide your path. Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 and 6. This is particularly important when God is showing us things to come. God shows us things to come directly. He also shows us things to come by showing us former things and then guiding us as we consider them to see what will come of them. Tell us what the former things were so that we may consider them and know their final outcome. Or declare to us the things to come. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 22. Hear for yourself. Here is an opportunity to ask the Father to send the Spirit of Truth to guide you into the truth of the scroll and horsemen. Skip to Appendix A, Hearing and Discerning the Spirit of God and work on hearing Him. Ask the Spirit what the scroll is and who the horsemen are. Take some time to ask, seek and follow His guiding before reading the rest of the book. If you do this, the rest of the book will help you see his guiding ministry.